morning. I've not really had much of a conversation with anyone about sober living. Um, I think mainly just that like there, the healing is just like barely beginning in the first 30 days of treatment. And um, sober living is a kind of a platform or a foundation to learn how to live life again without the use of alcohol and drugs and to be in an environment with your peers and your fellows of other people trying to do the same thing is incredibly like uplifting and inspiring. And I think it's just um, an extra like cushion of support and security for yourself till you can really like integrate back into normal society. Cause in normal life, someone's not drug testing you or questioning where you're going or, you know, you have to be back at a certain time or whatever, you know what I mean? So I think it's an incredibly important step in, you know, the full, full, full continuum of, of treatment, um, you know, maybe even more important than the actual inpatient itself. Sure. I, I, I thank you for sharing. I think, yeah, it's definitely a good opportunity to start to apply some of those things maybe that you've gotten in the first 30 days without totally having to leave the safety and confines of of a treatment facility or or even a group setting. Yeah, and it's it there it's comforting. It's a comfort to be in an environment, <clears throat> excuse me, with like the rest of your peers and and you know to build those relationships and even just like the silly stuff like the staying up late at night and smoking cigarettes or vapes or whatever it is <laughs> and talking shit and you know getting to know each other there's all it's it's special you know and it's definitely an experience that i think really aids in the success of long term recovery yeah yeah well and that camaraderie is uh it's priceless you know and and all of us kind of want to find that joy of the inner kid that we had had at one time yeah for sure yeah uh, was the spiritual process tough for you? Um, not really. No, no. I mean, I I feel like I've always been a pretty spiritual person, so it wasn't really hard for me to connect to that part. Um, so no, I don't think it was. Did you have a presence of faith growing up at all, or was that just non-existent? Or how did? Yeah, no, not when I was growing up. I think it came in a little later in life. <clears throat> and I definitely learned more about it, like as I got older and stuff. Mm -hmm. Did 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 uh, I know this? A few struggle with this is the higher power concept. Was that a struggle for you at all, or was it no. a kind of with the faith as well? Yeah, I've always believed in God. That that mm. part was easy for me. There okay. was there was yeah, I had no hangups with that at all. Yeah, I I I was just on a podcast the night before this of, of our, as of our recording and um, when I spoke about it I believed of a higher power but I just didn't believe that there was one that loved me and was going to do anything good through me that was mm. the struggle that I had yeah I, I I understand that for sure I I feel you know lucky I never had those issues with God mm. like anger or like that I wasn't good enough to be mm. a vessel to have that that yeah luckily for me i never struggled with that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah you are lucky for yeah sure. uh so the, the the process courses we talk like in 12-step groups you know a spiritual awakening you were kind of already there then yeah i think so i think so were there it any additional aha kind of moments for you though through the recovery process where you felt it felt it even more so Sure. I mean, I think that's a continuous thing regardless. I think there's a million of those moments um, in the recovery process and just in life in general. You know, um, I think people that don't struggle with addiction and alcohol, uh, alcoholism also have those aha moments. I think that's just life. And, mm -hmm. um, and those moments, if you're, you know, paying attention and you're you know, kind of cognizant of what's going on around you, you'll experience those no matter what. This is the Knocking Doors Down podcast featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma to live purposeful lives. And that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.